if we can gauge grief without someone saying they're sad, if we can gauge happiness without someone saying they're happy, wow. do you not think we can gauge love without someone saying that we love them? Wow. They can feel it. And yeah. if we don't have it, we cannot provide it. Mm. And that source of love must come from a, a, an everlasting place. Uh, and Ghazali says this, Rahimullah, Imam Ghazali, he says, if we connect our joy and love to a temporary source, that effect will also be temporal. So work, mm -hmm. family, even family, you know, for us, even though because everyone has to leave. Mm. It has to come from an everlasting source for it to be everlasting. And that source is only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So that uh, they have to f be able to feel it. Like in in Sirah, we only find two times the Prophet actually told people that he loves them from the men. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right? One was Ayd ibn Haditha, um, and one was Mu'adh ibn Jabal. Mm. Like he actually told them that I love I you. Love you. But every single person felt that they were more beloved to the Prophet than the person sitting next Thanks to them. them. 